so I am going to start with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. This is an OG. I'm gonna apply that all over my lid. And if you don't have this, just use concealer and you'll be good to go. So I'm gonna blend it with my ring finger. Whatever I have left on my ring finger, I apply it at the bottom because obviously I'm gonna apply eyeshadow down there as well so for my eyes i'm going to be using the naked urban decay palette and it looks like this and you guys i have i think i have three eyeshadow palettes i have the old school one which i was really generous like used it really gently so i don't know which one is the urban gel i mean i need to look at them all together and see but it looks like this and as you guys can see it is well taken care of but it's amazing so i'm thinking um the one that's you know unopened and all that if i should do a giveaway oh my god so stay to the end so you guys can know if i'm doing a giveaway watch this to the end girl because i want to do a giveaway so i'm sure this one's the beaten one because look at the box but we're gonna be using this one and if you guys want me to recreate this look using a drugstore product then let me know so I am going to use the brush that comes with the palette and I love this brush, it's so freaking good. I love that it's dual ended so we're going to begin. So I am going to apply Naked on my crease. Before anything, I'm applying my little eyeshadow shield, something like that. So I'm going to apply Naked and I'm going to apply it all over my crease in swiping and circle motion. I do wish this palette had a darker shadow, so I'm going to apply Hustle. I mean, by darker, I mean a matte one, because the only ones that are matte and dark is Buck, and that's it. Well, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna apply Hustle. The outer corner like this, and a little bit towards the end. Towards the middle, I'm sorry. Towards the middle. With, my sa with the same brush, I'm going to apply Creep. I'm just tapping it, as you guys can see. And then going like this and then applying it on the outer corner bringing it a little bit towards the middle that's why i love this things right here you can even clean your brush and go ahead and apply your shadow so i am applying buck i already cleaned my brush and what i use is the um the vera mona shadow wheel and it, clean, it cleans your brush. So now I'm applying Buck, which is a matte brown shade. Not so dark, but I'm applying it on my crease. I'm going to do my eyeliner with an ink. All right, so let's see. Oh, that pulls a lot on you. But look it. Oh, girl. Okay, it smells so good, so good. So I'm gonna do the next eye and then I'll come back and show you guys. You find your favorite black eyeliner pen. I feel like everything is my favorite. It's so little. So this one is the Urban, not Urban Decay, I'm sorry. This one's by Fifth Glow Beauty. And I'm going to line the top waterline. I hate doing this, I hate doing this. So make sure your eyeliner is clean, nice and sharp because sometimes when it's not, it can hurt. It can tug, woo, or little particles can get in there. Here we go. Now we don't see that ugly cap. Is this thing working? I hope it is. But now we don't see that ugly um, little cap naked part on our eye because we added a black eyeliner. So add a black eyeliner. Okay, so now with the same brush, I'm going to apply dark pores on the bottom lash line. And get it all the way in. I swear, Louis is so freaking loud. You probably sees a cat. And I'm grabbing this pencil brush, applying Virgin on my tear dot just to bring some dimension, bring some light. Okay, I'm gonna apply a couple coats of my favorite mascara by Benefit Cosmetics, the Bad Gal Bang. I'm applying some Ardell Wispies. For my foundation, I'm going to be using this Too Faced Natural Beige Soft Matte, and this is a oil control foundation i am not an oily girl so i mean it works really good 
I love the color. It blends amazing. It looks good on my skin. The formula says it is weightless formula, 24 hour smoothness, sweet and humidity resistant, 12 hour moisture and non-crease. I just love the way that it blends. It is on the matte side, but it's not cakey looking. It looks like skin. And if you guys see the way that I blend this is by just stippling my foundation. So bouncing my brush to my skin. That's what stippling mean, means. To contour, I'm going to use this Revlon Color Stay Awakening Concealer. So I'm and this shade that I'm using is Hazelnut. For some reason, my hands get tired now when I do my makeup. So hopefully it's nothing bad. Hopefully it's that I need to take my vitamins and drink milk and all that. But it gets tired blending the one on my nose. And this brush is by Royal and Light Nickel. So whatever I had in the middle, I'm bringing it upwards as well. So now taking my brush, I'm going to blend everything. I'm having low-key anxiety because, girl, this thing keeps telling me that I don't have any room to film and I'm trying to hurry. I know we see those star circles. They are so visible. So I'm going to be using Nude Sticks Concealer. I don't know if I told you guys a shade last time, but I'm using a Nude 4. So I'm going to bring it just right here. Not that close to my bottom lash line. I don't know if you guys can hear my son, but he's playing his game. And then applying it right here and right here as well. <gasps> it's drying, girl. I need a new one. Okay, so my favorite brush to blend that concealer is by Sigma. Their Soft Blend Conceal in F64. This is an amazing brush. Natalie's been keeping it. So I'm like, Natalie, can I get my brush, please? But I'm going to do the same thing. Bounce, bounce, bounce. <gasps> She used this for Halloween. Be right back. See, I wasn't lying. She used it for Halloween. So it was black and I had to clean it. But it's okay if it's a little wet because obviously the concealer is wet. So that's fine. So I'm just going to bounce that and blend that out. Girl, I swear. Every time you blend your concealer, look up. You want to have a mirror, but I already know. I'm going to set everything with my Laura Mercier and my Laura Mercier puffer. I'm just going to grab that and apply it all over my face. And so I'm grabbing this puffer now. I'm going to apply that loose powder just to bake a little bit. So for the lips, I have a new combo. I'm going to be using the Nova Beauty Lip Aligner in Pink Nude. So let's do that first. Their lip liners are so freaking creamy. And then I'm going to outline the middle parts. So don't kill me if they don't sell this no more, but I'm going to be using this old school lipstick by MAC in Velvet Teddy. I'm going to grab a little bit of concealer and apply it right there and right here. A little bit more. You can blend it with your finger or just like that. I'm going to remove that powder all over and then I'm going to apply my mascara since I'm already done with my concealer and everything I'm going to apply mascara on my bottom lashes I'm going to do a gentle makeup setting spray so I'm using the pixie um, this one is their makeup fixing mist which has rose water but I love so you can use this before or after and after as well Grabbing my foundation brush and just going all around by blending that. I hope you guys love this look. This look is just a Victoria's Secret, right? It is a high contrast makeup, obviously, but it's so freaking gorgeous. You can rock it at any event, I promise you, and you will look bomb. So for the giveaway, since I know you guys are waiting, I'm going to ship you guys out a new Urban Decay Naked Palette. All you have to do, and maybe I'll add some goodies, because obviously I have some goodies. <laughs> so maybe, I'll, I mean, obviously I'm going to add a goodies. So, so not maybe, so I'm going to add some goodies. So all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed to my channel, you guys. I will leave all the information down below, but just make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Like this video, and, and just comment down below what are your goals for next year and that's it let me know so i would greatly appreciate if you guys share this video that will help me out so much so i will see you guys on the next video thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys have a good one Bye bye